The pink ox heart is in the ground on April 29th. Here's how it looks on May 20th. May 26th, uh, no blooms and no tomatoes yet. It's June 19th and this one's really setting on well. It's got some nice looking tomatoes on it. And it seems to have some really large clusters of blooms. I like that. And it's growing well too. It's June 28th. And I really like this one so far. It sets on well. Hopefully the taste is good. If it is, it might be a regular for me. So far, so good. So you've got one about three quarters of the way up the cage, which is good for the heat we've had. And it's coming out the top. Already. It's July 5th, and this set on a whole bunch of tomatoes. I'm liking the way it set early. And it even has one about three quarters up the cage which is a good sign. That means that one set on when it was fairly hot because we've had some really hot weather early. And it's already outgrown the top of the cage. The cage is five foot tall. It's July 17th and it's time to do a taste test. This shows a little bit of the size variance in this tomato. Uh, this is on the big end. I'm going to use uh, one of the smaller ones for the taste test. But uh, so far I really like this with tomato, the way it, it's grown and set on well, set on pretty early and produced a lot of tomatoes. So um, I think I'll probably grow this again next year so it'll be a keeper. Um, now let me cut into one of these and we'll taste it. Alright, let's see what it looks like inside. That's pretty meaty. It's got a good number of seeds, but not excessive. It's got some good homegrown tomato taste. And the taste of it did nothing to change my mind about growing it again next year. I think it's a good one. 